Hello everyone, my name is Curtis Waltmeyer. I am a mentalist in Wichita and I'm thrilled today to be bringing a new effect to you by Booma Jr. Uh, through Stevens Magic Emporium. I uh, loved working with Joe and Martha and Mark uh, down at Stevens Magic and I'm thrilled to be uh, presenting a new effect by Booma Jr. simply called keys. Now we know that keys are a very important part of our everyday life. Um, I can't think of a day that I go through that I don't use a key at some point, whether to start my car, to open my house, uh, to, to go to my mailbox. Uh, keys are very important. They're even used as a metaphor for things like the keys to success, unlocking certain potential within people. And this little demonstration with Booma's Jr.'s new effect, Keys, is to simply show just how connected we are with the most important thing in our lives our keys. Okay, now to demonstrate this, uh, Sean, could I have you help me sure. for just a moment? Thanks for coming up here. Um, now, we've not prearranged anything or anything Nothing. like that. I've not told you what to say or do. I want you to cup your hands in front of you like this. I want to dump these keys into your hand out of my case here. I want you to mix them up. You're going to uh, place the keys in a random order. Let me have a key there to show you what we're talking about here. You'll notice that on the case there's a bunch of different slots and each key fits each slot. It's not just one type of uh, uh, slot per key. Um, and so what I want you to do is arrange the keys in any order in the vertical slots. I'll hold on to this so you can do that. Oh, you got a watch? Yes, okay. yes. Go ahead and just place them in any order of your choosing. Just like that. Okay. And the orange, you find it, mm -hmm. and the green. Okay, perfect. Now you have you have created this order yourself. This is completely random Correct. and completely created by you. Now what you're going to do, I'm going to have several people in the room, uh, each think of and select a key. But you're not only going to just pick a colored key. I want you to imagine what that key goes to. Like if you pick the red key, maybe it goes to your new red uh, Maserati or something like that. Or if you pick the blue key, it might go to your new boat. Um, but it doesn't have to be like that. The color doesn't have to uh, signify it. Or you could do the orange one uh, for something like this. But it's important that once you select the key, you remove it completely, display it to the audience and the camera. Uh, so they know what one that you're thinking of, but I'm going to turn my back so that people I don't know which one you have selected. Okay. Okay. And then finally on the final one, uh, we do that too. So you can pick any of these keys. Okay. Remove it, place it back in. Let me know when you're doing that. I've, I'm going to turn around, so I can't see which one you've selected. And simply let me know when you've done that. I'm done. You've d you're done. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for your help. You can go back and take your seat. Uh, we're going to have Mark come up next. Mark, yes. you've kind of seen what to do. Um, you're going to select a key, but not the key that Sean selected. Different it's important key. that everyone chooses a different key. Okay. So I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to mm -hmm. turn my back. I don't want to see which one. And make sure you imagine in your mind uh, what that key is going to go to, what makes that key special for you. I do, and I've done it. You've done it. Okay, great. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Uh, Martha. Lovely Martha, come on up and join us. Uh, do you have something in mind already that you're going to have a I key do. go to? Have you selected one mentally? I have. All right, I'm going to turn my back. I want okay. you to show the audience and show the camera which one you're thinking about. And let me know when you have completed that task. I have. You have. Wonderful. Uh, thank you so much. And last but not least, Mr. Joe Stevens, have you come up, sir? Yes, sir. You're going to select a key and what that key goes to. But once you, and then display it to the camera and the, and the people at home. Um, but once you've done that, I want you to remove all of the keys and place them in your hand. Remove every key after you've selected your key. Okay, I'll turn my back. Okay. Removed all of the keys from the yes, display case. Okay, wonderful. What we'll do is I'll put this away. Now we've got uh, some different keys here in no particular order. Thank you, sir. You may have your seat. Uh, they all selected a key in their mind. They imagined what that key would go to. And Sean, if I could have you come back up. You uh, you've selected a key a moment ago. Yes, sir. Um, would you kind of turn and face away just a bit and put your left mm -hmm. arm behind your back? I think that I know the key that you selected, but I'm gonna, I want you to keep that in your closed fist and don't do anything until I tell you to. Uh, Mark, sir, you're next. Um, you selected a key. Again, turn away and put your left arm behind your back. Okay. And close your hand over that uh, and don't do anything with it until I tell you to. Okay, Martha, you're next. Uh, we're narrowing it down even more. Martha, would you place your left hand behind your back? I will uh, place a key in your hand a key that I think that you were thinking about, and Joe uh, is last but not least by any means. 
sir, uh, left hand behind your back, and I will place the final key that I think you were thinking uh, about uh, just moments ago. Now, as I walk away, I want you all to bring your, keep your hands closed, but bring them forward together and uh, kind of bring them in kind of tight. And starting with you, Joe, I want you to first tell us the color of the key and then what that key goes to that makes it special to you. Once you've done that, then open your hand and let's see if I got it correct. The key with color was red and it goes to my fishing tackle box. Martha, what about you? Orange, orange. And I'm gonna get a new car. New car, okay. Mark? My key was green and it's green, you nail it, and it goes to my Bertram yacht. Ah. Mine was blue my beautiful new house. Hey. That's to be, 100%. Perfect. Get, Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out good of job. Here. That's good. As you can see just from the demonstration uh, video alone, uh, the, and, and as we all know as performing uh, mentalists and magicians, uh, the, the, the simple effects with simple methods and very direct uh, forward are the, are the hardest hitting and most devastating to an audience. This is a fantastic effect with tons of performance possibilities. Uh, it can be performed in conjunction with a, a, a chair test, for example, or a bank night routine. Uh, it could even be performed blindfolded if you really want to make it an over-the-top presentation where it seems impossible that you could even know uh, what the uh, what the keys are. Um, there's just infinite possibilities and uh, it can be performed for walk around. It can make a great, you can fill the stage with four spectators. You can even perform it with only one or two spectators if you want, if you kind of change up the way uh, that you're uh, doing the presentation a bit. The method is simple. There's nothing to discover. There's no gimmicks. There's no trick magnets or anything like that that, that, that give it away. Uh, you completely and totally clean and we know as magicians we like to be and mentalists we like to be clean uh, with our uh, uh, effects and our props that we use so that there's nothing to discover a fantastic new effect by Booma Jr. that I know that you will love adding to your repertoire I know I'm enjoying uh, adding it to mine and uh, I just think it's a great effect that you should get and uh, make a part of your repertoire I know you'll love it <laughs>